This is an introduction to SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and it's a language that you use to describe queries and searches or how to make changes to a database. And most database systems support SQL. So what that means is that if you learn SQL, you can learn to talk to most databases. So next, let's set you up to become an SQL programmer. We're going to look at some of the main things that you need in order to work with SQL in a database. So in a select query, and a query again is asking the database for information or a result. If we use the asterisk, that allows us to select all of the fields from our table quickly. And if a field name contains spaces, then you have to remember to put it inside square brackets. So like we have here with last name, last name has to be in square brackets because the field name has a space. I recommend that you don't use any spaces. If you use an underscore here or close up this space, then you don't have to remember to put the square brackets in. And also it makes your database more portable so that if you move it to another web server or another type of database, it, not all databases will allow you to have spaces in your field names. So in these examples at the bottom, it says select star from employee. So that's going to select all of the fields from the employee table. The last line, select last name from employee, is only going to return the last names of everyone from the employee table. Now we can find all the records that have a certain property or that match our criteria. So if we say something like select first name, which is one of our fields in our employee table, from, and then the name of our table, which is employees, where last name equals, and then we have the criteria, the exact criteria that we wanted to match. So in this case, this is going to go to the employees table and it's going to give us the first names of everybody who has the last name that matches Smith. So we use the criteria of where to find an exact match. Now our criteria can contain less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to, the not equal to, which is the less than, greater than symbol. We can also use like to find something that is like something else. I have a slide coming up on that. So in using like, we can have pattern matching, and these are different than regular expressions. So if you're familiar with regular expressions, these have a little bit different meaning. So the percent sign symbol, any number of characters, zero or more. Question mark is a single character, and then the asterisk is any number of characters. So for example, if we say where last name like B percent, then it's going to start with a B, and then it can have zero or more characters that follow. So it could be a B by itself, or it could be B with hundreds of letters that follow. The last example where last name like question mark R asterisk, the question mark means that there's a single character before the R, and then the asterisk means that there's any number of characters that come after R. When you get your results, we can put it in order ascending or descending. Ascending is the default, so if you want descending, we have to specify DESC. To insert a new record into a table, we use the insert and then into the name of the table. And then in this case, we're specifying the fields in the order that they are going to be added and then the values that are associated with those. So you can see here that we have last name and then first name and then when we specify the values since this is the first reference then it's going to be added into last name and then this is the second reference so this is going to be added into first name. And update is going to allow you to change records that are already there. So we say update, we specify our table and what we want it to change. So we use set. Now in this example, status is a field and we're telling it to change the field to full time. And now we're specifying what we wanted to match it to or our criteria. So this is going to find the ID for number 247 and it's going to set that employee status to full time. Generally a good idea to include a specific criteria for the match 
so that it doesn't update all the records in your table to have this full-time value. So only the record that matches 247 will be updated to full-time. And lastly, we want to delete records from the table. Now be careful when you're deleting because when you do, you're permanently removing it and not able to undo that action. So be sure that you want to delete something, otherwise it may cause problems for you. Just be careful when you delete anything because it can have a domino effect and it is permanent. And so now you are an SQL programmer, or at least you've got the foundation, the idea of how SQL commands work.